I've had some of my best experience working hands-on with machinery here versus anywhere else. And it's, it's for those people who like to learn by doing. Automation is one of those career choices. You can go out into almost any industry, anything that has some kind of autonomous operation, you can work on that. We are at the National Energy Center of Excellence at Bismarck State College. So our energy and manufacturing programs, roughly 12 programs from certificate all the way up to bachelor's degrees. So we focus on our operations, instrumentation and automation, maintenance uh, type of programming. We have alignment program. From our bachelor's programs, we have an energy management and an operations management degree. Our industry partners are very, very critical to, to what we do. You know, our programs are housed in the National Energy Center of Excellence that was really built with support of federal and state grants, but a lot of private funders helped us develop this uh, facility and, and fill it with our lab equipment. So they're always a voice at the table, whether it's hiring our graduates to giving us input on curriculum to actually enrolling their employees in our training programs. So we have our first year core courses, which uh, trains the students to become entry level technicians. In the second year courses, we do automated systems, which students are programming a complete automated system that we use the tabletop mechatronics trainers for. In the next course, our industrial robotics course, students will learn to program a FANUC robot and they will also implement the FANUC robot into the tabletop mechatronics trainers. After that course, we start getting into parts identification and vision where the students will teach the FANUC robot to see and identify parts. They will also use RFID sensors, barcode sensors, smart pressure sensors, smart flow sensors, a number of different smart sensors to create a system and to monitor a system. This technology is used in every industry. The programmable logic controllers that we teach is going to be the same whether you go into an oil field type job or if you're in a manufacturing plant, regardless of the type of industry you go into. Listening to our industry partners and understanding the skill sets that they need and then being able to partner with Lab Midwest to give them exposure and experience on equipment that they're actually gonna see in the industry. You know, we always call it like industry standard curriculum or industry driven programming. And that happens right here in the classroom and in the labs and being able to actually train them and let them learn how to troubleshoot. If we run into an error or a problem, even like, like recently working with the robots, yeah, we ran into a few glitches. That's okay, because guess what? Now we're gonna work through that glitch and that then becomes part of our course training because we had to learn how to figure out that problem, which if you're a technician out in industry, guess what? There's gonna be problems that you're gonna have to figure out how to work through. Amateur equipment is great. First, the curriculum that comes with the equipment is unbeatable as in the industry. The equipment is built using real world components. So it's easy to relate it to real world operations. And also the equipment is flexible. So you can add to or subtract from their curriculum depending on how you wish to instruct your class. We have four FANUC robotic arms. FANUC is the industry standard for robotics in the United States. Many industries use the FANUC platform and the FANUC robots, so I wanted to teach on the FANUC platform. So students are learning on what they'll actually be seeing in industry. The feedback is honestly very positive of our graduates, and I think our biggest challenge right now is giving them more graduates. The jobs are there. Um, they're very high paying, they're in demand, they're good jobs um, in safe work environments. Um, and they really have so many opportunities in this industry and really there's automation and robotics being integrated into all of these industries and they have to, to stay competitive and, and innovative and on the top of the market. Right now we're building a large polytechnic training facility which has two huge flex labs. Um, so looking to grow and expand industrial automation and robotics um, in those program areas and labs. And really I think having industry integrated more within our programming, how can we give our students exposure um, to our industry partners. I think the other area that I'm excited about is really trying to grow automation, manufacturing, energy, whatever that pathway you want to phrase it as, um, in CTE and K-12. The community here on the college campus, you know, being that it is a smaller college, it's, it's a much more in person-to-person -person type relationship. Also the, the course training and the opportunity to make that change in life to move in a, a good direction. And it's it's been really, really helpful to me because it's all hands-on, it's all really tactile learning where you're, you're touching the stuff, you're working on it, you're learning how you would learn in industry. 
So it's, it's really, really nice and it, it was exactly the change I needed to do a lot better.